Hey there, today I'm not going to show you a tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick demo of my uh, website monitoring tool that I've been working on with this Raspberry Pi. It's pretty simple, I'm going to show you this hardware and I'm going to give you a quick demo of the code and how it functions. Um, so here I'm actually using an Arduino PCB board, uh, PCB, you know, B stands for board, uh, that I just soldered some uh, our red, yellow and green LEDs, uh, some resistors and uh, pins that get that connects straight into my Raspberry Pi Zero W, which I've soldered. Uh, and I'm gonna plug this in. I have this stupid little uh, Lego case. It sticks out. It's nothing special, just a temporary housing. Uh, it's probably more permanent, knowing me. And uh, I'm gonna plug this in, and I'm gonna show you just how this works. It's pretty neat. I'm still working on it, and um, hopefully, I'll finish it one day. So I'm going to quickly take you through a brief overview of the application itself. Uh, you can find the code on github.com uh, and my username. Uh, it's called the Raspberry Pi website up Prime monitor and I've come pretty far since I started this over Christmas break. Uh, it's an old screenshots. Uh, everything here is configurable. I'm still working on it. So uh, in order to, if you're planning on using it, you can edit the config.sample.py file in the config folder and switch out the pins if you're going to be using other, something other than 12, 25, and 18. Uh, the application will send out an email if a website is down, uh, is reported down three times, uh, more than three times or more. Three times or more. Uh, the reason it's three times is because it could be a blip if something isn't responding for 10 seconds, we don't want to notify you that, hey, things are down. And the application also stores all activity in a MySQL database. Uh, you can configure this as well if you want to store any, everything in a database which is reportable using a Flask app uh, that's fronted by an Apache web server. Um, and uh, on the, in the corner here, you can see that the green light is on. That means all my websites are up and running. Uh, the websites are listed in a simple text file, uh, sites.txt. Uh, and it's one site per line and what you'll do is you'll have the location of the up.json file which I also provide just it's just a basic json file which is which has the url uh, of the current up.json file you can name it anything you want as long as uh, the site parameter exists and that the URL is the same as whatever page this is being hosted on uh, the application uses an http get request to to make sure that the content is loading, it's not just pinging your server because pings can be unreliable, you can get packet loss. We want to read actual data from your website. So once you have that uploaded and you run it, it will run. Uh, there are also cron settings here. So um, I'm going to go down here. Uh, by default, I provide an init cron.py file which will initialize uh, three different cron jobs. Uh, check size, which checks every 15 minutes. You can configure this before or after um, by editing the in a cron file or uh, editing your cron tab. And email notifications are sent out one minute after the check sites are done. And only if something has been down three times or more. You can always edit the code and, and change it as you will please. Um, I created a bunch of web service endpoints, which I will consume using a front end a web application at some point. Here's what it looks like. Um, just a brief overview of like the, the get uptime activity. Uh, this records everything, um, everything that you need. The downtime counts, so it has a list of your websites and if they have been down for three or more times, you'll get notified. Um, there's another one called get outages, so it'll notify you whenever something has been down. Um, it uh, notifies you, it lists the size affected as an array. It does take some uh, URL parameters to limit. I can do 100 by default. It lists only 25. If I do 100, it'll list 100. You can see that here, and I have four websites down. This is actually one of my my uh, one of my routers just went down. My uh, one of my access points. So for a while, everything was reported down, even though it wasn't. Um, and I have another one called like get notifications, which will uh, which records whenever an email gets sent out. Uh, by default, it uses uh, Gmail uh, through SMTP, um, and it'll tell you uh, what it's trying to say, and it'll tell you whether it failed or succeeded, which is great for knowing, you know, whether you had internet connection, if something went wrong, you can check the logs at this specific time. Um, I'm going to turn the yellow lights on. I'm going to trick the 
the pi, I'll just do a brief demo, so I'll do um, pseudo nano sites.txt and I'll add a URL that I know doesn't have the um, up.json file. So do nastronomy.com slash up.json. This is one of my nast uh, astronomy websites. File, yeah, my cat sites.txt, make sure it's there. Um, it's there and I can wait either 15 minutes uh, every you know every 15 minutes I can either wait six minutes or I can just run the uh, cron file now so to check sites cron and it takes about a few seconds for it to go through the list of my sites and make sure that the up.json file exists and the yellow light should turn on because Nastronomy does not have uh, it isn't working and you'll see that the yellow light came on if I come back here and I refresh the activity uh, you'll see that you know it, it did update at uh, 2039. Uh, all of these sites are up, and this one is down right in astronomy because that doesn't exist. Uh, notifications they won't send out; it'll only send out after three. You can also get outages, and here it recorded this that this site has been down. Uh, for notifications, I will actually run this two more times so that it gets to three. And then I'll trigger the email notification and I'll show you what that looks like as well. So I'll do it one more time, right? Whatever. Uh, it'll be Python 3 uh, cron outage. This is the file that sends it. There you go, came in my Gmail. Um, it's from epuptime at gmail.com because that's the, the email account that I set up and it tells me hey nast nastronomy.com slash application has failed three times I can click on it to see if it's up or running uh, if it's up and running or if it's down uh, if, if you have any questions I plan on continuing to work on this uh, and, and get it all completed um, so I'll come back uh, subscribe I will have I have three tutorials planned uh, in the coming months where I'll show you how to install Flask, how to install Apache, and how to install Apache in front of Flask. Uh, if you want to get ahead of it, you can read this README documentation here. I, I do post step-by-step uh, -step on how to do it, but I'll, I'll create videos and show you how to do it as well. Um, thanks for watching this quick demo. It's been a really, really long demo.